my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas. Today I have another sort of gift guide style video for you. Today we're talking all about stocking stuffers, which is why I'm sitting in front of our stockings right here. So before we get started, I want to define to me what a stocking stuffer is. Anything that's over like 20, 25 ish dollars and that's pushing it is no longer a stocking stuffer. If I pay more than 20 bucks for it, it's getting wrapped and it's going out of the street. That's a whole gift. That's not a stocking stuffer. So to me, a stocking stuffer has to be both small in stature and small in price. If it's not one of those things, it's not a stocking stuffer, it's just a gift. That being said, I have a ton of things on this list. I crowdsourced to my family and friends to see what their favorite stocking stuffers were. So I have, I think over a hundred things on this list. I don't even know. So I'm not gonna go into detail for very many of them. I'm really gonna try to go keep it up, just keep it cracking. And again, I kind of divided it into like categories. So with that, we'll jump right in. My first kind of group or category was overwhelmingly the most popular category of things people suggested to me. So this is all food or drink related items. You got things like Christmas cookies, candy bars, you have candy, gum, you can give healthy things like oranges and clementines are like a tradition. I don't know, we always got oranges in my stocking and I don't really know why, because I don't like oranges. So I would just like take it out and give it to my dad. I don't know. You could get a little fancy and do like a coffee or tea sampler pack. You could also do a fun seasoning or condiment, something like the everything but elote seasoning from Trader Joe's, or like I have a spicy honey that goes on my cheese boards that's really, really good. Speaking of Trader Joe's, you could also pick up any of the delicious Christmassy snacks from there. And stay tuned because I may or may not have a video coming of us trying some of those Christmassy Trader Joe's snacks. Peppermint bark, always a classic, very Christmassy. If they're over 21, you could get them those tiny little bottles of alcohol that are like this big and just like a one little shot. If they have a dog or cat, pet treats, always an option. Or you could go in the other direction and get them some fun kitchen accessories like that avocado slicer thing that I've seen everywhere. You could get some chip clips, a corkscrew, wine glass tumblers. I've seen a lot of really weird fun like ice cube trays, anything like that. Those kitchen fun things are usually pretty cheap and really small. A really fun and practical thing could be some reusable straws. You could even get them some that are written in their name like these little cursive ones, so cute. Or you could go for some cocktail accessories like a muddler or a stirring spoon, those are always really cheap too. My next loose category is clothing and wearable items. You get them a hat, gloves, a scarf, some comfy slippers, sunglasses are always a good idea. And of course, it's 2020, so everybody needs face masks. These make a great gift right now. The classic stocking stuffer, socks. A sock and a sock, obviously. It just makes sense. My next big category is health, beauty, and personal care items. Bath bombs are really good. You could do hair accessories. That's a huge category. Scrunchies, hair ribbons, these little invisible things, hair clips, headbands, anything like that. Related, a hair wrap towel, like a microfiber one for after you get out of the shower. You could get some hand cream or lotion, some nice hand soaps, lip balm, the other kind of masks, sheet masks or clay masks. You can get them a lip mask. I've even seen the hand and foot ones that are really nice. A makeup eraser towel or or the little reusable cotton rounds, a mini hairbrush, a nail file, nail polish, a pocket hand sanitizer, another really topical gift right now, a sleep mask, small toiletries like deodorant or toothpaste, or maybe a travel size of their favorite leave-in conditioner or a dry shampoo, something like that. A small makeup bag or pouch would be really cute. You could stuff it with other little stocking stuffers. A shower cap, a makeup sponge, like a beauty blender, a roll-on migraine stick. This has like essential oils and you like put it on your temples to stop having headaches. I have one and it works really well. Tweezers or a perfume sampler. Another big category for stocking stuffers that I like is practical gifts because I'm married to a Virgo, so everything has a purpose. Something we can never have enough of in my house is candles. Related to that, you could get them one of these really cool USB candle lighters. It's a lot more eco-friendly and it's rechargeable. Also related, you could get them a candle snuffer. You could go for some coasters or some mini photo frames. Something I'm sure is gonna be really popular this year is those little no touch tools. It like lets you poke stuff and not have to touch door handles and things. You could get them a small journal or notebook. To go with that, you could get some pens, some mental health related things. You could do a gratitude journal or some mindfulness cards or even a little stress ball would be nice. You could get them a nightlight or some reusable paper towels, a tiny first aid kit, a reusable water bottle, and of course the classic gift cards. If you're looking for some techie items, you could get them some phone chargers or a portable charger. You could get them some of these really cute little cable bite protectors that keep your phone cords from fraying. Small things like an AirPod case or a selfie light or a pop socket even. You could get them one of these little extension cord cubes that lets you plug in more USBs and plugs, a Bluetooth speaker, phone tripod, a phone mount for your car. You could get some of these mini phone camera lenses. They snap onto any smartphone and make it into different camera types. A Bluetooth camera remote for your phone. And then moving into the kind of 
weird fun stuff. This is like the, the fun category. First of all, anything that's just smaller than normal is so funny. The best stocking stuffer I've ever given was last year. I gave my brother these tiny little hands. <laughs> They're such a hit. He sends me pictures of the cats wearing them all the time. It's so ridiculous. So tiny hands good stocking stuffer. A little bit less weird. You could get them some art supplies if they like to draw or create or anything like that. Stuff related to their hobbies. So like bookmarks, coloring books for kids or adults. You could get them some crystals or healing stones. You could get them some Lego sets, but only the cheap ones. Did you know Legos are like hundreds of dollars? What is that about? Some of these gift guides were recommending these Lego sets and I was like, I'm not paying $80 from a stocking stuffer. That's a full gift, okay? A jumbo pack of googly eyes to put on anything they want. A keychain, a magnet of something they like. You could get stickers. There's tons of stickers of anything you can think of on Redbubble. Great place to look. I don't know what kids like. Do they like bubbles? That could be a stocking stuffer. Polly Pockets are coming back. Did you know that? Whether you're an adult or a child. Like if you're a 90s person trying to relive your childhood, go for it. Puzzles, tiny stuffed animals. I've seen these things going around called Squishmallows. Apparently those are very popular. That's like the toy this year. I don't know. They're small and cute, so great stocking stuffer. You could do some quick and easy card games. Uh, something like Uno would be really fun. We have one called Sushi Go that we love. Great stocking stuffer potential. You could do small toys like a Rubik's Cube or some of those little plastic brain teasers, sidewalk chalk, or something silly and fun like temporary tattoos. And if all else fails, just give them some socks. Whew. Okay, that was all my stocking stuffer ideas. Like I said, I crowdsourced this one and pulled ideas from friends and family, so I had a lot of collaborating on this one. The links to everything that I showed on the screen will be in the description as usual. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Vlogmas stuff for the rest of the month. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.